one company that's helping the consumer make sense of it all. And Homelight is that company. Cost the buyers and sellers to use Homelight no money. What they don't mention in that is that they still are getting paid. How are they getting paid? Well, they take a 25% referral fee for any clients that go through them. 51%, so basically half of consumers believe referral fees are unfair if they are not disclosed. Removing the referral fees from the process, that's the real key. One bad review can pull you down everywhere. Homelight is suing HomeOpenly.com and its founder, Dimitri Skipin. This is a classic David versus Goliath story. Homelight is a multi-billion dollar corporation led by a dynamic Stanford-educated founder. HomeOpenly.com is a small one-person startup. They have raised no funding and its founder is representing himself. Homelight is accusing HomeOpenly.com of making false statements, including calling its business fraudulent, illegal, and potentially criminal, and using a logo that's similar to Homelight's logo. HomeOpenly filed a lawsuit of their own, and they're going after Homelight's core business model, calling Homelight a sham brokerage and a hub-and-spoke conspiracy. What started as a single two-star review of Homelight, written by Dimitri Skipin, has now turned into a lawsuit that challenges the legality of Homelight and whether the referral fees that Homelight receives are lawful. It also threatens all major referral networks like Homelight. Homelight vs. HomeOpenly.com is shaping up to be one big fight, and its outcome can permanently change how the U.S. real estate industry operates. This video is brought to you by Hoseo, America's most advanced home buying and selling platform. Americans across the nation are saving on commissions with Hoseo.com. You can too. Check out Hoseo.com on the web or the Hoseo mobile app. Homelight. Let's look at our Goliath, Homelight. Homelight is huge. It was founded in 2012 by a young dynamic guy named Drew Ewer. Drew graduated summa cum laude from Texas A&M University, and he has an MBA from Stanford University. Before Homelight, Drew worked at Morgan Stanley in their New York and London offices, and he's on Inman's list of top 100 most influential real estate leaders. Talk about a smart guy. Drew Ewer and his wife Paige almost lost the home of their dreams in San Francisco through no fault of their own. It was one of the most important moments of our lives, and we felt powerless. Drew knew there had to be a better way to buy and sell a home. He started Homelight as an agent matching service to help consumers find agents. Homelight is a real estate brokerage licensed in the state of California, but it does not provide any services a traditional brokerage would provide. So then why is Homelight a licensed brokerage? The Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, or RESPA, Section 8A, entitled Prohibition Against Kickbacks and Unearned Fees, prohibits kickbacks, but it excludes broker-to-broker -broker kickbacks. So to collect a referral fee, Homelight has to have an active brokerage license. Remember this. This is central to HomeOpenly's case. Homelight matches home buyers and sellers with real estate agents. It makes money by charging a referral fee. This referral fee is typically 25% of the agent's gross commission. Homelight has grown fast. It has offices in Scottsdale, Arizona, San Francisco, New York, Seattle, and Tampa. And it has big plans to open more offices across the US. Homelight has raised a lot of money to do just that. Drew first raised $3 million in 2015. Homelight then raised $11 million in 2016. 40 million in 2017, 46 million in 2019, 100 million in May 2021, 363 million in September 2021, and another 105 million dollars in June 2022. That's 742.5 million dollars in funding raised, according to Crunchbase. 
Homelight also counts some of the biggest names amongst its investors. Google Ventures, Zeev Ventures, Menlo Ventures, Group 11, City Ventures, and Lydia Jett of the SoftBank Vision Fund. Homelight has 741 employees on LinkedIn and was recently valued at a jaw-dropping $1.7 billion. Homeopenly.com slash Dimitri Shkippen. Now let's look at our David, Homeopenly.com. Like Homelight, Home Openly is also an agent search and referral service, but it doesn't charge a referral fee based on the commission the agent receives. Home Openly is free for real estate agents, home buyers, and sellers. It makes money by charging service providers like lenders and insurers. It has no employees, has raised no money, and its valuation is relatively small, but its founder is no less impressive. Dimitri Shkippen founded Home Openly in 2017. He has a Bachelor of Science in Construction Management from California State University, Chico. And judging by the content on HomeOpenly.com, he's very intellectual, analytical, and articulate. And guess what? While Homelight has hired at least three attorneys with two law firms, Dimitri Shkippen is representing himself. Wait a minute! Who are you? That's huge. Let's cover that in detail. Homelight and Drew Ewer have hired two attorneys at Fenwick and West LLP, Todd R. Gregorian, a partner, and Matthew B. Becker, a senior associate. And these guys are impressive, especially Todd. He's represented multi-billion dollar companies, including Amazon, Netflix, CBS, and Caesars. Homelight has also hired Jim Petruzzi of the Petruzzi Law Firm. Jim is an expert in complex litigation. He successfully defended Chewy Vuitton from Louis Vuitton in a case of trademark and copyright infringement. And on the other side, Dimitri Shkippen has hired the prominent law firm of... No one. He's representing himself. Talk about taking on the big guys. And judging by his filings, he's doing a superb job. Homelight needs to take this seriously. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, no, no. Homelight versus homeopenly.com slash Dimitri Shkippen. So why did the two companies end up in court? Reviews. Yes, the legal battle between Homelight and Home Openly started with Dimitri Shkippen's review on his website about Homelight. In 2019, Dimitri Shkippen wrote a scathing review on HomeOpenly.com about Homelight. He referred to Homelight as a broker-to-broker -broker collusion scheme and accused it of overcharging consumers. In addition, the review claimed Homelight engaged in false advertisement because Homelight claims it's 100% free even though Homelight charges agents a 25% referral fee. This 25% referral fee comes from the commission consumers pay, so it's not free. False advertisement because Homelight claimed it's unbiased. Homelight only recommends agents who will pay them a referral fee, so it's not unbiased. Privacy violations because Homelight audits transactions collecting private information of consumers, even though it may not be a party to the transaction. In addition, the review alleges that Homelight engages in market allocation, consumer allocation, unlawful kickbacks, wire fraud, and price fixing. Home Openly rated Homelight two stars out of five in the review. These are some very serious allegations. On November 4th, 2021, Homelight sent Home Openly a cease and desist notice. In this notice, Homelight demanded that Home Openly no longer use the Home Openly logo because it was too similar to the Homelight logo and violated Homelight's trademark rights. Homelight also demanded that Home Openly remove the bad review of Homelight on HomeOpenly.com. On November 9th, 2021, Home Openly founder Dimitri Shkippen responded to the cease and desist notice and turned down Homelight's demands. He also doubled down on his review of Homelight. Things escalated. On May 27, 2022, Homelight sued Home Openly CEO Dimitri Shkippen in the U.S. District Court, Northern District of California. The dispute is between Homelight 
um, and Home Openly, and then Home Openly's principal, Mr. Shipkin. That's Neil Chatterjee. He's a prominent Silicon Valley attorney who specializes in intellectual property and antitrust law. Neil defended Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook in the famous Winklevoss case. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. And he has represented some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley, including Oracle, eBay, Apple, LinkedIn, NVIDIA, and Logitech. It is um, a trademark dispute, but there's actually two different kinds of trademark issues. The first issue is a dispute over what Homelight believes are a similarity of logos, and that the similarity of logos creates confusion in the market as to who's who. The second type of trademark claim is actually something called false advertising. And um, it's under the same statute called the Lanham Act, but what false advertising is about is when you're promoting your own uh, product or service in a way that um, that is falsely representing either the nature of your own product or service or of a competitor's product or service in a way to kind of improve your status and, and garner more sales. The lawsuit also states damages of around $75,000. On June 18th, 2022, Dimitri Shkipin filed a motion to dismiss and a lawsuit of his own against Homelight. For trademark infringement, Shkipin claims the Homelight and Home Openly logos are distinct, and there are several other logos that are generally similar and easily available on stock websites. There's a whole bunch of factors you have to look through when you're trying to identify uh, trademark infringement, but here, I'm just not, I'm not seeing a, a whole lot of room for the type of confusion that the trademark laws would protect. For false advertisement, Schippen claims that Homelight is a sham real estate brokerage. It is licensed as a real estate brokerage only to collect referral fees from partner agents while avoiding RESPA. And because it does not provide any services a traditional brokerage would provide, it is not granted RESPA protections on broker-to-broker -broker kickbacks because it is not a broker. Here's what we know, right? What we know is, is that um, Homelight has, uh, uh, they, they, they list and advertise homes for sale, they offer home estimates, and they facilitate home loans. At least for those things that they do, those are things that are often found to be characteristic of what a brokerage would do. Um, and when Mr. Shipkin comes in and he says, well, they're not a brokerage, he's got two hurdles to overcome. First, the first thing he has to overcome is that um, is to prove that in fact, Homelight is not a brokerage. And I think the law is pretty much in Homelight's favor on that. The second thing he has to do is he has to then show that, that the RESPA protections uh, don't apply. It feels like there's that's a that's a lot to a lot to chew on in order to be successful. And then Dimitri Shkipin countersued Homelight for restraint of trade, attempted monopolization, misleading trademark use, and unfair business practices. In countersuing Homelight, Shkipin has invoked the Sherman Antitrust Act. The Sherman Antitrust Act is probably the most powerful U.S. law promoting free competition and commerce. A fundamental issue that arises not only in the real estate industry, but in other industries, is what is the legal liability associated with reviews? And so one of the things you see is people will sometimes file lawsuits over fake Yelp reviews or fake TripAdvisor reviews or places like that. Here, this situation is a little bit different because the owner of the website is actually writing the reviews to promote their own business. Um, and that creates a different set of liability issues. And it's something people need to be particularly careful of when they're, when they're writing kind of uh, uh, pieces to criticize other, other services that are competitive. Uh, when you do that, it's important to make sure you get it right. People do do it all the time but it can create thorny, sticky, uh, false advertising problems. This lawsuit started with a bad review, but with Home Openly going after Homelight's core business model, it can radically impact all agent referral networks. And there are many of them. Upnest, Better Real Estate, Open Door Brokerage, Redfin Partner Program, Rocket Homes, and many more. Here, it, 
uh, there was a motion to dismiss filed. Um, I don't anticipate that that motion will win. Um, and I think the case is going to go um, a long way. To me, one of the critical issues that that's arises in the case is there's a lot of criticism as to whether uh, Homelight is truly a brokerage or not. I think that there that there's room to potentially find liability, but I also think there are some significant defenses and it's gonna be very jury dependent. But remember, in real life, David doesn't always win. I think I, I'm, I would rather have Homelight's case than Home Openly's case. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Homelight versus Home Openly lawsuit and whether you think it's okay for referral networks like Homelight to charge a 25 to 40% referral fee while claiming they're 100% free and unbiased. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when we release new and interesting videos.